Tony Blair Nyakundi is a third year student at Kenyatta University where he is pursuing a course in project management. However, coming from a humble background, it has not always been smooth sailing for the 21-year-old who is required to pay upwards of 75,000 shillings every semester in tuition fees alone. Uh, joining, we did uh, fundraising at home, so joining was not a problem. But with the time when I joined second year, yeah, it happened that I had challenges with my school fees. So I had to find ways to raise the school fees. I had to convince people, to talk to people. Sometimes I even, I had to do some businesses. I go to Gikomba, buy some few clothes, come and sell to my fellow students, at least to top up to what I have for the school fees. Despite all the challenges, Tony hopes to successfully complete his studies and eventually venture into the job market. I look for a job yeah, in any of the companies in Kenya, even any projects that a government can uh, provide that. In the area of my work, yes, I can do well there. Yeah. But before I find that job, I'll still continue venturing in business. Yeah, because sometimes uh, it's hard to find a job. Tony is among millions of Kenyan youth who stand the risk of having their valid dreams easily derailed by the high and ever-rising cost of education in the country. However, circumstances permitting, the domestic financial services market has in place innovative solutions targeted at parents in as far as raising school fees to cater for both immediate and future needs goals. The Zimele Education Plan is one such product. Broadly, the plan helps parents inculcate personal finance values such as saving and investing into their children early in life, their education being a prime starting point. Basically, the Zimele Junior Plan is a product within the Zimele Unit Trust Fund that allows parents and guardians to open an account for their child and save for their specific goals and their specific needs. Uh, once you, once uh, the account is opened, you can start saving any amount starting from 100 shillings. There is no maximum account and there is no uh, requirement on your part to make a regular deposit. So unlike other products out there in the market that requires the parents to be making a specific regular deposit, uh, the Zimele Junior Plan is flexible in that it allows the parents to save at any time. So whether you are employed uh, or are self-employed or working in the informal sector where the income is irregular, it gives you an opportunity to save for your child's goals and needs at your own pace and uh, uh, based on uh, the amounts that you can afford at any given time. Other Zimele education plan features as made available for parents seeking to save for their children's education amongst other needs include locked accounts where parents decide how long they will save, determine how long these savings will remain locked, thus helping them mobilize fees, be it for the next term or in several years' time, without toiling too much, very attractive and competitive interest rates, no hidden charges, flexible contributions such as one-time lump sum payments, regular contributions, or a combination of both, flexible withdrawal options such as lump sum or periodic payments, which accords parents the regal room they need to use the savings for their children's needs or even for emergencies. Encouraging parents who may be able and willing to build up savings to a point where monthly interest earned alone is enough to cater for school fees. So when you're saving, uh, specifically when you, are, when you have a long-term uh, horizon uh, or you're saving for, for the long term, yeah? Say your child is young right now and uh, you're saving for their university education. It is possible for you to accumulate savings up to a point where when this child is uh, joining the university or tertiary uh, education, the interest that is being generated on a monthly basis from these savings, they are enough to take care of the school fees. Additionally, under the Zimele Junior Plan, Parents are allowed to transfer ownership of the savings plan to their children when they reach a certain age or complete their studies, which can help teach children about financial responsibility and provide them with a valuable asset for their future. 
If the event apparent saving under the plan unfortunately passes away, the company would consider setting up a trust where the fund pays for the child's education with the help of a designated guardian until the beneficiary is 18 years old. The product also offers a 360-degree digital experience including but not limited to online account opening, mobile money or bank deposits and withdrawals, while accounts can also be accessed online. So what I would advise is that you need to start early. You can even start before the child is born. You know, it's good to always have a vision. So, or alternatively, you can, you can start immediately that child is born. Because when the child is young, you don't have so many responsibilities, you know, uh, as, you know as opposed to when now the children start going to school. Yes. And uh, for me, what I would recommend is put your money into a money market account. Uh, where the interest rate, you know, is guaranteed. Uh, so meaning as you're saving, your money is also growing. And again, it, it gives you that flexibility and the time, you know, when the time comes for you to withdraw this money, you're able to access that money without any difficulties, you know. It's just like as easy as a snap, you know, just snap of your finger whereby you just fill a form. Within maybe 24 hours, you've already received money, that money. If probably you're opting to have this money sent to your bank account, take you about a day or uh, let's say about two to three days for you to receive this money. And then again, it gives you that discipline because it's money that is not readily available. It's not like having an ATM whereby you just need to, you know, to swipe that card and, you know, and hey, this money is out. So here, when in a money market account, it's quite a process when you're withdrawing. So it needs you to fill forms. You, you know, there's a certain period you need to wait. So it kind of gives you that discipline, yes. So if uh, you're looking to save for the next term fee, uh, what we would advise you is uh, you start planning early because what you want to avoid is uh, getting into debt. School fees, by and large, it is an expected expense. If you have a child in school, you know that uh, the school terms end at a certain time and the next term school fees is a specific amount of money. You can take that amount of money, divide it into uh, on a monthly basis or on a weekly basis if you get paid on a weekly basis or even on a daily basis because some people are paid on a daily basis so that you know uh, for me to reach the target that I'm looking for uh, and in this case you, you have a, a specific number because uh, it is known to you at that point in time. This is what you need to do on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis. And at that point, once you have that figure, you can open an account with Zimele Junior Plan and start sending that money on a, according to your plan, whether it's daily, weekly or monthly. So that when the time the child is going, uh, is opening for the next school's uh, term, you already have the money to pay for their school fees. And because it has earned uh, some interest, uh, you can use that interest to cover for other expenses, other small expenses like uh, stationery and so on that are usually tied with our uh, school uh, children. If um, you're saving in the long term, one, one of the things that I would advise uh, the customer is to be consistent as much as possible. In as much as we are not charging you any penalty for missing out payment, it is in your best interest to be making this payment on a regular basis. And in case you miss a payment uh, from time to time, which is normal uh, because of uh, the way just life is, uh, you can still continue, uh, you can resume as soon as possible. To make it easier for clients seeking to either estimate how much money they will need to be saving to achieve a targeted amount of money within a specified time frame, or even the future value of their interest earning savings, a range of easy-to-use tools such as a target savings calculator and the future savings calculator are made available on the Zimele portal.